Greetings everybody and welcome back to the Ashes Creation Community Pluck with today's content creator Alpha Soul. How are you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. Doing good. So it's a good day. Yeah. Alpha Soul, um, I've been watching your content for a while and you always do um, informative content and I know you've been uh with the community for a long, long time. So what made you because I also know you are an MMORPG veteran. You've been playing the genre for like since the start so <laughs> what what is like the, the 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 main thing that got you excited for ashes well i i think it's really based around the fact that ashes is set well the the first thing that got me excited to be honest was the fact that um it was independent an independently funded game because i genuinely believe that a lot of games um, you know, that are funded by companies obviously have diverse, you know, divested interest in them. And it really attracted me to the fact that Steven was kind of self-funding it. Uh, I always thought in my mind that the best MMO that could be created would be by somebody who had quote unquote unlimited resources to that. Um, so from a, a 10,000 foot view, that was probably the biggest reason. But then going down into the actual game, when I started hearing about it, a lot of the aspects that Ashes was pushing reminded me of a lot of the old school games that uh, a lot of people, you know, played in the past. And the aspect that I really think is missing from it is the community, like a world type of an aspect. You know, when I was younger, I used to be really excited to get home and jump into this world basically with people and you know everyone was off doing their own thing you'd have yeah. some people who didn't care about pvp who were just you know running their stores you had people who uh cared about pvp you had you knew where people were in the world kind of you know generally speaking and there were even many communities within it so the way that ashes has been described really sounds like it could potentially bring this aspect back uh and more be a world that you're in rather than tasks that you complete if you will uh in a game so yeah, yeah. okay yeah no, okay actually i kind of i kind of get that i get that that is actually a really <laughs> really cool reason um yeah so what sort of content because like i already said you do mostly informative content but maybe you want to go and explain a little bit exactly what you do for content wise Mm, gotcha. Got, okay. Yeah. So um, the way that I've decided to cover my channel was at first it was sort of like a news type of a channel where I was covering things that are focused around ashes. But ultimately, um, what I have started producing as content is content that is more geared towards stuff that I am doing within the Ashes community. Uh, and then it'll transition to stuff that I am doing within game, if you will. So that could be, you know, how to videos um, co coverage right now is really heavily based on what they're doing in terms of development, since obviously the game is not out yet. Uh, but I want to kind of cover that as well as, you know, cover it from a more personal aspect, if you will. Um, and so it's, it's going to look a lot like other games cover uh, coverage, if you will, okay, from okay. personal content creators. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. So, yeah. um, as a content creator, everybody, you know, has their own little thing. What, what yeah, yeah. would be the main reason you would tell people to come and watch you? Well, I, I think it's more around building a, a community on that aspect. I always want to, I think the, the, the main thing I would say is I always want to keep positive right so there could be negative things that are going around there could be you know things that i don't necessarily agree with but that doesn't necessarily mean that i'm going to be negative okay. about it you know i like to just talk about things and discuss things as opposed to trashing things and you know going one aspect because uh you know i, I genuinely think that's lost on us as gamers is we don't really take time to appreciate you know the good things that are about uh you know a games that we love and we really focus on the negative things because you know negativity sells and it draws people in yeah. but i yeah. kind of want to take yeah i want to take myself in a different you know aspect or a different okay. way basically and just keep things positive so okay. you can always come to my channel and talk basically right. and never feel that your you know voice is not heard all right that's pretty cool well that answers all the question i had so i want to thank you for your time mm. and um anything you left to say uh, no, I'm just really excited about Matches of Creation. I actually do like their new direction, which is just develop, you know, yeah. um, and yeah, that's, that's what I'm focused on, essentially. I can't wait to see their March presentation and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay. So thanks again and thank everybody for watching and we will see you on the Ashes of Creation community discord. Bye. All right. Cool.